Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to access the startup troubleshooting menu on the Xbox One. So let's go ahead and jump into this Xbox tutorial right now. So by accessing the startup troubleshooting menu on the Xbox One, you can go ahead and fix issues like the green screen of death or the black screen of death on your Xbox One. And this will allow you to factory reset your Xbox One or offline update it. And this is very easy to do. So I have my Xbox One behind me. Let's go ahead and start it up in the troubleshooting menu. So the first thing Microsoft suggests you do, if you are using a wired console, go ahead and unplug the network cable. Then the next thing you should do is go ahead and unplug the power cable from the back of the console. And sometimes this is a little bit difficult. Now that you have the power cord and the network cable unplugged, go ahead and leave the power cord unplugged for about 30 seconds so all the power in the console can dissipate. So once that time elapsed, go ahead and put the power cable back in and leave the network cable unplugged until we're done with the troubleshooting menu. Now let's go ahead and turn my Xbox One back around. So now we're going to want to go ahead and locate the eject button right here and the bind button right here. So once we have those two located, go ahead and press both down at the same time. You'll hear one beep on the console. Now go ahead and press the Xbox button on the console itself. And then you'll hear a second beep a couple seconds later. Once that second beep is heard, go ahead and let go of the bind and the eject button. Now, if you have the all digital console, you won't have the eject button. So just go ahead and hold down the bind button and then press the Xbox button on the console. So that is now booting into troubleshooting mode. Let's go ahead and go over to my Xbox One. All right, so go ahead and turn on your controller and you're gonna have to maneuver around this menu with the D-pad. So on here, we're gonna have four different options. You can continue booting your console like normal. You can reset this Xbox and restore the factory default. You will have two options in here. You can keep games and apps, but it will erase all accounts, save games, settings, and home Xbox associations. But it will keep the installed games and apps. Otherwise, you will have an option just to completely remove everything. Erase all accounts, save games, settings, home Xbox, and installed games and apps. Then you'll have an option for offline system update and you'll have to go to xbox.com slash xbox one slash offline updates for more information. Otherwise you can just turn off your Xbox One. Now if you are having the issue where you have the black and green screen, go ahead and try it. resetting this Xbox One. You can go ahead and maybe try keeping the games and applications, but when you do this, your account will be erased, so remember your email and password before doing that so you can go ahead and log back in. Now, if that doesn't work, you can always try updating your console with the offline system update. Also, don't forget to plug in your network cable into your Xbox One after doing this, otherwise you won't have an internet connection. So accessing the troubleshooting menu on the Xbox One is very easy. If this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox One tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.